Now let's continue with that workout theme. Most of us are trying to cobble down together some type of workout that we can do at home. Spending a lot of money on equipment is just not what we want to do, right? So I asked Stephen Hitt, owner and trainer of CrossFit Industrious, to pick up one piece of equipment that gives us the best bang for our buck, and he chose dumbbells. Lucky me. It's something that's going to have the most impact for you, and dumbbells are it. They're also super inclusive. They're not an intimidating piece of equipment like a barbell or something like that. So these are things that really anybody can do, and they allow joints to move around in their natural form, which is what we like. Perfect. I've got some 10-pound dumbbells right here, so you're going to put me through a workout. Let's get started. I love it. Let's start with the rene renegade row. So just come on down into a plank position. And then from here, all we're going to do is just keep the quadriceps, the glutes, and the abdominals engaged, and we're just going to start rowing. As you do this, think about pulling the shoulder blade first and then finishing the job with your arms. You keep going, Jordan. I'm going to show a modification to this. If you don't have dumbbells, but you still want to get in a great exercise, then you can just do what's called a plank tap. So all that you're doing here is just tapping your shoulders, but all the same stuff holds true here. Okay, yeah. and another thing, my dumbbells are flat on the edges, so that probably helps, right? You don't want to surf. Yes, <laughs> great point. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to get dumbbells, get some that are the hexagon shape. It'll allow you to do a lot more movements without them wanting to run, run around on you. Yeah, that's it. Those are the hex dumbbells. Those are the ones you want. <laughs> All right, next one's dumbbell deadlift. So we're going to strengthen the hamstrings and stretch the hamstrings on this. So from the top, all that you're going to do is simply unlock the knees slightly, send your hips back, stretch your hamstrings to your end range, and then stand back up. That feels yeah. so good, actually. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know it'll really unglue everything in the posterior chain. So as you're doing this, again, we want that back to stay flat. Try to avoid that turtle back. Instead, think about rotating the pelvis back and up and then keeping those abdominals engaged as you go down and up. Keep those heels down on the ground when you're doing this movement. The modification, you just get rid of your dumbbells and you just stretch to your end range and stand. Yep. Okay, so that's your... nice. Yeah. That yeah, still stretches exactly. it. <laughs> oh, totally, yeah. And that's where the strength development occurs is in that time under tension. Next one's dumbbell snatch. You're only gonna use one dumbbell now. Okay. And the point of this one is to teach you how to jump with weight. So all oh, that you're gosh. gonna do <laughs> is from here, send your hips back, bring your dumbbell in between your kneecaps, and then all we're going to do is simply change our back angle, jump, and catch our dumbbell locked out overhead with the inside of the elbow into the ear. Yeah, that's it. Did you put your and arm out? Yeah, yeah, you stick that okay. on. Yeah, that's for counterbalance. That's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's it. Yeah, so go ahead and start doing them on the right. And then every time you do a rep, switch hands on the way down, and then go down to your end range, jump and catch. And your Ooh. end range is that's as low as one. Keep that back tight. <laughs> that looks good. And modification on that one, it's a jump. So if you want to modify that, just do what's called a lateral hop. You're just going to pretend that you're jumping over a line. That will produce that same jump, that same stimulus that we like. Yeah, I love I'm it. Already next. sweating. <laughs> Steven, I'm already sweating. Good. That's good. <laughs> All right, okay. next one is the press. So on the press, you can do this out of one knee, or you can be on both knees, or you can even be seated. It's up to you. And then from here, all that we're going to do is just press those dumbbells straight up overhead, control them, and then lower them back down. I can yeah. feel it in my abs, too, a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Because oh, everything's got to be locked down, so we're, we're having to brace in our core to be able to press them overhead. That looks good. All right, <laughs> next one is a push press. So on those feet, here we go. Okay. All we're going to do here is we're just going to use our legs a little bit. As you start to on that regular press, now if you want to add a little bit more power, a little bit more repetition, just bend those knees and then push them overhead. Oh, OK. Excellent. Yeah. And so that'll allow you to actually use a little bit heavier weight than you otherwise could on one of those strict presses. And you want to bring then, it down slowly. Control yeah. It. Yeah, we like that eccentric loading. That's exactly right. All right, cool. Next one is just a floor press. <laughs> so all that you're going to do here is just lay on your back. OK, I like this one. <laughs> yeah. And so this is the bench press for anybody that doesn't have a bench. And then all we're going to do is, yep, from here, keep those elbows in, but not all the way in. And then we're just going to press them until the elbows get straight. And then lower them right on back down. Yeah, that's it. And if you don't have dumbbells, you can do that same press just by rolling over and then holding that same plank that we did in the renegade row. And then you can do a top half push up. So you're only going down about halfway on them. I like that you called it a top half push up and not a girl push up. <laughs> yeah, oh, totally. <laughs> yeah. So, really quickly, how many reps should we be doing with this? 
repetitions of seven to 12 repetitions before rotating to the next movement is gonna be perfect. That's typically about 10 seconds of time under tension. And usually we start to reach that fatigue state at that point, and then we'd wanna move on to the next rep to keep the intent, or next movement to keep the intensity high. Yeah, I mean, because we haven't even been doing it that long and I'm already sweating. Um, <laughs> because yes, I know I have a lot of equipment here, but I haven't been using it lately, so. That's all right, that's an awesome right, what else home do we have? Home gyms are, are, are huge uh, luxuries right now at the, this time with all the gyms being closed. So, so I love it, that's Wait. great. Let's show you some stuff for the lower body. Okay. So all I wanna show you is three different squat variants. One's easy, one's medium, one's hard. The first one's a goblet squat. So we just hold that dumbbell just like this, elbows in, and then we're just gonna squat all the way down. As you squat, keep your heels on the ground, your hips should go back first, and we want your knees, just go ahead and push those knees out. Yeah, that looks great, Jordan. That's it. And then now, the medium variant is you'd use two dumbbells and hold them like this. I know, keep okay. it up, you're doing great. You're doing awesome. <laughs> and then up here, squat below parallel, and then just stand on up. And if I you want to make- going slower is actually harder. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is, yeah, because it's that uh, tension. Yeah. You bet. That's and awesome. And then finally- Popper for that, that right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you want to make it real hard, then you can go all the way up overhead with your dumbbells, finish them with them locked out overhead. And good to breathe out when you're pushing up, right? That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, you need to exhale at some point. So the time to do it is after you <laughs> brace through the squat. And I will admit, it was tough. And I didn't even do it that long.